Good day, tubes. How's she going? So, I'm in the car, just giving her a little test ridey thing. Everything seems all right. I think we got all the ghost uh, ghost bustered out of her. So, we're just heading over to Princess Auto, Princess Auto, and uh, we're just gonna see what they're gonna do uh, for us on this uh, hydraulic ram. But uh, just before we uh, take off. I thought that was one of our squirrels. Just before we take off, I uh, just got to check something in the boneyard here. And it's, you see on the window, it's one of them days. So, good day for heading to Princess Auto because I can't really do much outside here. So, just got to check a grave here and uh, make sure that there's still room for an R person. So, I think there is, but uh, we're just not sure what uh, which grave is on uh, which side now, kind of thing. So, one of those deals where we buried someone and then all of a sudden, oh, I want to buy one there too. Happens a lot, you know, so. But uh, we're just about here and I'll go check and then uh, we'll head her to Princess Auto. Okay, so we're good. I almost left and forgot about the Ram. The purpose for going to Princess Auto, so. I don't know. So we got the Ram anyway. She's in the back. And uh, I got my uh, metery dewey here um, on the computer thing on the car here. Just giving me uh, checking the voltage there in the battery. It seems to be all right there now. 14.9, 15, almost 15 volts. So pretty high. But I guess that's pretty decent. Better than like, you know. 17 or 18, which I've never seen in this, but I've seen some things charging like that. Pretty, pretty steep, so anyways. Foggy, crappy day, probably won't be filming much because we won't be able to see much once we get out of town. It'll be all foggy and crappy. So anyways, we're all headed to Prince's Auto, heading to Newmarket. Another weird thing today, too. Uh, sir, he's talking to me. Uh, it says seven degrees out here, and I guess that's right, because it hasn't changed. And it's really weird because it's seven freaking degrees, but it's wicked, wicked humid. It's actually really nasty out today. And I've actually got the air conditioning on for seven freaking degrees. Oh, we got eight degrees now. Turn left on Sweet. 209. Okay, Siri, I'm turning. Freak's sake, don't be so grumpy. Anyways, uh, it says 51 minutes, so we'll be... Uh, 49 kilometers. Continue on 09. Anyways, tubes, uh, look at she's getting foggier up here, eh? Freaking, freaking, freaking frog. Oh man, tubes, there's something going on up here. Mm -hmm. Somebody's, somebody's crashed into something. Well, good job, bud. Holy. Big time crash. Uh oh. Wow, I made her. Still in one piece, just about killed a guy there, all freaking being a jerk and has have to be have to be first and you know, have to be first, have to be a jerk, so I uh tromped on it and cut back in front of him and then turned. <laughs> and the finger came up. But that's okay. That's just fine. Anyways, we're just back into a spot here. And I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I won't take the camera in, but I'm going to take this in and set it to record mode on the camera and just record audio for you so you can just sort of hear the, you know, us talking and stuff and, and stuff and stuff. So I think that's what I'll do. So it might be black on the next part of the video here too, but uh, I'll maybe flash something up for you. I don't know. See if I can find something. So hold on tubes. We're heading in. I am so sorry tubes. Oh man. I didn't get a recording for you there, I know. I uh, walked in there and uh, there's nobody at the uh, hydraulics department there. So I'm like, oh man, I'm standing there waiting and waiting. I don't know if the person was on break or lunch or, or what. But uh, anyways, uh, nobody came. So I had to walk up to the uh, service desk there. And uh, she uh, called the lady there. So I went back and waited for like another five minutes. I'm like, Stuff that sandwich in your pie hole and come and help me. Holy crap. 
So, uh, but anyway, anyways, uh, she finally came there, and uh, it's the lady that sold me that stuff originally, so I think she sort of kind of remembered me, probably because of my good-looking charm. <laughs> well, charm anyways. But uh, anyways, uh, she uh, she said, i never seen that before, leaking out of the... I'm like, well, there's a freaking video up of it if you want to see it. <laughs> I never actually said that, but I should have. I should have pulled it up on the freaking iPhone. Hmm. I kind of think she didn't believe me. But uh, whatever, she she exchanged me for a new new one off the shelf there, so we're brand spanking new again, so that's good. And uh, driver's door ajar. It's not a jar, it's a door. But anyways, uh, ah, we uh, got the cylinder, and I got a couple other little deweys there. I'll show you when we get home because I just packed them, of course, in the trunk. But uh, there's one thing sitting beside me here, this piece of aluminum. Uh, I wanted something with a good straight edge that I could clamp down on this uh, this uh, whatchamacallit stuff to uh, cut the stuff for the for the trailer you know for the for the the bed liner and stuff and the sides and the you know the stuff so I'm looking at like levels that are really long I'm like I don't want to pay like 48 bucks for a freaking level I'm gonna use it once and then probably never use it again so I went looking around looking around looking for something that was fairly long with the straight edge. Buddy, your freaking BMW just about freaking sideswiped into the front of me, you stupid arse. Holy freaking crap. I don't know if you heard that maybe over me talking about it. The guy's like pulling out of the parking lot here. <laughs> like this. I'm like, frig. <sighs> Where's my paintball gun when I need today? There you go, bud. Now you can't freaking have any back window because it's all painty. But uh, anyways, <sighs> I need to find a Horton's tubes. Anyways, oh, we got uh, some other stuff there too that I've been sort of looking, you know, in the last little while that I've been working on, like the car and stuff and different things and a couple of specialty sort of tools that I was needing and what was it? I can't remember now. I'll get them out and show you, but at home. But uh, anyways, we're going to try this Surrey here and see where we can find the nearest Hortons. Surrey, I need a Tim Hortons really bad. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Surrey, I need to Tim Hortons really bad. She's thinking. She's thinking. She's probably not going to come up with nothing. Hold. Looking for restaurants. Oh, did find it. Name, Tim Hortons. Three, I found 15 nine, restaurants what? matching Tim Hortons in Toronto. Not in Toronto. Surrey, I need a Tim Hortons in Newmarket. A bit slow though. I guess she's looking through her directory, right? I found seven restaurants named Tim Hortons in New Market. Unknown category, unknown category. What? Well, that one's on Young Street, Davis Drive. I don't really want to go there, but let's try this one. Uh, no, I haven't actually done this yet. Oh, sorry for the glare of their tubes. I didn't. Uh, How the frig do you get me there? Directions to here. <laughs> Maybe I read it. Uh, route. Okay, route. What route do I want to take here? Probably route one. Usually it takes you the best way. Start route one. Starting route to Young Street. Friggin' North sweet. On Leslie Street. We will do that. So I gotta head back sort of the way I came. So, all right, Tubes, let's see how good she is. Okay, Tubes, we're getting close to this Young Street here, so she seems to be pretty good so far. In 500 meters, turn left onto Young Street. Okay. I can do that. I don't know, a lot of people are complaining about this uh, new update. I think it's pretty freaking cool. So, you know, it actually works in Canada now, the Surrey stuff? It always said before. Turn left onto Young Street. It always said before. I cannot look up stuff in Canada. It's like, well, that's great. Of course, the sales guy doesn't tell you that when you go and freaking get a phone. He just says, oh, it's got the Surrey on it. It works. It's awesome. It's super good. Yeah. Well, buddy. Oh, frick. We're stopped at a light tubes. Hold on a sec. Davis Drive. I missed her tubes. I missed her. Make a U-turn. Freaking nuts. 
Come on, you stupid thing. Oh, we'll figure it out, Tubes. Okay, I see what she's doing. It's actually one of these stupid median thingies all the way along here, and uh, it's uh, in the other side, on the other side of the road here, of course, so I'm just going to do a... That's why she wanted me to U-turn the freaking thingy here, so I'm going to have to do that, I guess, and uh, hopefully there's no police around here, and uh, we'll just have to head her back. Oh, well, I didn't know that, but whatever. Oh, okay, there it is. Make a U-turn. I, 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 uh, Make a U turn. Come on. I don't know you're being silly. But that's it here in this uh, freaking uh, Tim Hortons Wendy's thingy here. So we're going to pick up one of them uh, lemonade thingies because I feel like something cold. My throat's a little bit sore. It always seems to help. So I just got to freaking find out how to get the freaking drive through here. Holy. On Young Street. Okay. Stupid thing. But, anyways, uh, we'll get a thingy here tubes and then we'll uh, get heading her home well we made her home and I uh, guess that crash that was on the highway there must have been uh, pretty bad because when I uh, come back they had the highway closed down and diverted so usually that's not a very good thing so anyways uh, we must have got there just minutes after it happened I would think but anyways uh, there's our stiff and uh, the new ram and actually did actually buy that box too as well. Ammo box. Even though oh, eight fuses. Something, something, anyways. Uh, yeah, even though it's rusty and crappy looking, I needed an R1. Freaking expensive enough, too. It was, uh, what did they get down here? Well, that's a return for the RAM. Must be in the bag. The bag of stuff. Where the heck's the bag of stuff gone? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm putting in tubes. Put everything in here for me. No, well, there's no receipt in there. Well, but the box looks nice on the inside, you know, and stuff. But uh, she got a bit weather beaten on the outside, I guess. So, but uh, there's some of the stuff I got for you know holding uh, a piece of aluminum down. I got a couple of different stuff, types of clamps, you know, just to know, to know what to get. And there's the Deweys for the for the locker for the tailgate lock. So I can probably cut those in half and you know I got a couple just in case and I was after a couple more of these things the adapter things so I got a couple of them that's a half inch to three eighths and this is a three eighths to a half inch the other way I think it was that one that I was really needing and uh, this one's a three eighths to a quarter inch which I broke one there when I was working on the car so yeah but anyway let's just stuff it back in here but uh, I might take this box into the sandblast for one of these days and give her a blast kind of thing, but that's about the only one that they had there that closed decently enough, so a bit of rust, I don't care, I'll sandblast her off. But now you're asking yourself, well, why the frick did he get that? Well, let me show you here. I used to get this, the grass seed for, you know, reseeding the, the graves after they're done and uh, the bags, you know, and which is fine because they got a, a zippy thingy back up, but uh, they never friggin' work, so I, uh, Got this one here I had at the house. Of course it says tube on it and some geocaching crap and subway stickers, some of the first stickers I made, you know. And uh, this is only a smaller one, 30 caliber. But it's got my grass seed in it. So nice and dry, it's been out in the rain. You know, it's weather tight, weatherproof. And this one was actually really good shape when I got it. But uh, So yeah, I got that, but then I'm using this fertilizer stuff too, and it's in the bag without a zippy tie in it. So, you know, if you leave it on the track like that, She's going to get moist, so that's what this box is for, because I use a lot more uh, fertilizer stuff than I do uh, on there for now, fertilizer stuff than I do uh, grass seed, right? So that's what that box is going to be, so we'll get her painted up and stuff, and I don't know if it's going to be army green again, but uh, I've got some of that uh, paint in the can, like the black of the car there, it's supposed to be really good automotive stuff, so I'll probably use that prime it up and stuff you know but uh, for now that's good but uh, yeah that's uh, about the best one they had over there look through the whole piles of them there they had I don't know 30 40 of these things over there and that was about the best uh, shaped looking working box that they had a lot of them were dented and you can't really sell that for like 30 bucks holy freak I think it was about 30 bucks but uh, here's the new ram ram <laughs> 
And uh, she, yeah, she couldn't uh, believe that it was bleak in there, but I'm like, well, it is. So I'll just put this here for now. I'm not going to hook this back up right now. I'm actually probably going to leave it off until after I get it painted now. So I wanted to take it off uh, while I was sandblasting it, right? So she'll just be like this, and then I'll be able to just go and give her, you know, and uh, that, and then I'll get her outside and uh, get her up on something, some sort of blockages, you know, and uh, we'll uh, get the springs off right to the the shackly things here, right? And then uh, I don't want to really want to sandblast all this stuff too and everything. we got to all come off again, so that's why I haven't tightened them. But uh, there's that hunk of aluminum. That was expensive enough, but uh, well, it was like 22 bucks for this piece. It's eight feet tall, same as that one, so same as that piece, so it's not too bad, but that'll basically get, uh, you know, wherever I'm gonna cut, it'll get uh, mounted on there, and then I can, it'll be a nice guide to run the, the nozzle of the plasma across, right? So it'll be a nice square cut. And uh, man, that plasma cutting through that stuff, holy frig. It'll be like a friggin' hot butter through warm knife. I'm telling you, it's gonna be awesome. But tubes, that is gonna be her today. I'm just not motivated today. <laughs> um, been up for late the last, what, three nights, I guess? Playing on the uh, Minecraft Sin Sticks server there, and uh, we uh, been having a lot of fun playing stuff in there and doing stuff and stuff. So the last three nights have been midnight for me, ugh, which is late for me because it's, uh, if I go much past 10.30 at night, I'm like friggin' screwed the next day. So I've done that three nights in a row, midnight. And I uh, just can't do her tonight. So, boys, I'm not going to be on late tonight. I'll be on for a bit, you know, after dinner and stuff. And, you know, we got a store we're looking after there. But the server's a bit screwed up right now with the, uh, the store and how it works and stuff. So they've got to fix that. But... We're loading chests and stuff, you know, with coal and meat and stuff and stuff people can come in and buy, right, for whatever. But uh, I'm working on uh, enchanting tools in my store mostly. It's Skaven and I, but he hasn't been on a whole lot lately, so he, uh, you know, he's at work at that time of night too, right? So, but um, yeah, enchanted tools, well, they, they sell for pretty expensive. So, you know, like we're, I'm enchanting them to the maximum too. You can go to level 30, right? So I'm chant enchanting a uh, level 30 pickaxe and whatever it comes out at for, I think it's 2,500 sins. Sins is the uh, currency on that server. It's called, it's called sin stick. Sin stick, so yeah. But uh, if anybody's interested, uh, go on the old Minecraft there if you got a Minecraft and uh, go to the uh, mc.sinstick, so that's S-Y-N-S-T-I-C-K dot com. And log on then you load up into the um the main town spawn there and if you ask you know one of the dickard guys or something or ask if you if you'd like to join dickard or i i don't have the authority authority to do that yet but uh, hopefully someday but uh one of the guys there will uh, either say yay or nay or whatever usually it's yay they you know they got a whole whack of plots there they like to fill up with uh, a bunch of good players and stuff so anyways uh uh, yeah, come on, check it out. If you if you like the Minecraft, you know, if you if you freaking hate Minecraft, then don't uh, don't uh, check it out. So I know some of you don't like that uh, video, gave me kind of stuffy stuffy like that. But uh, you know, if you if you got her, come check her out. You know, come and be part of the town and stuff, and uh, you can um, do a whole whack of neat stuff, build a neat house and stuff, and come hang out with uh, you know all the guys and me and. Uh, I got uh, Dylan's on there too, my son. He's uh, Stinky29, his name. Uh, stinky because usually he is pretty stinky, so, you know, the name, uh, like, Stink Sticks. So, there you go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's it for today, Tube. So, not much else happening. So, uh, still rainy and crappy and crappy over here. So, you know, what do you do? So you gotta have rainy days too, but. Usually if it's heavy rain, uh, which it hasn't been today, it'll knock a lot of these leaves off. And then I'll be like mooshing leaves all at once kind of thing, you know. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that's her today, too. So, oh, sorry, it wasn't too uh, too uh, exciting and stuff. But, uh, anyways, we went to Princess Auto. 
So, but uh, I didn't film nothing of course in there, but I do apologize for that. And you know, just technical difficulties in my brain. So, uh, must have had extra caffeine in the cafes this morning or something. I don't know. Had a little bit of a crustacean in my head, so whatever. But uh, all went well over there anyway. She's a pretty nice lady, and you know, should have told her about the video though. I never thought of that. Oh well. But uh, yeah, have a good night, tubes. And uh, like I say, if you want to come Minecrafting, come on on and ask one of the guys. Uh, Ask if you can join the Dickard faction, they call it. Faction's the name, you know, Dickard's the name of the town, but um, each town is, cons what do they call it, considered a faction, or that's what it is kind of thing, so a faction of Dickard kind of thing, right? So, but, uh, yeah, and if you come on, look for, uh, and you get accepted onto the Dickard, look for the um, Great Big Green Watermelon Tower. That's my house. I got a, f what did I figure this morning? I got uh Oh, I've got 88 per row. I can't remember how many rows, but it ended up being about 4,400 melons on the top of my house. It's a lot of melons. So all hand-grown and freaking hand-harvested uh, and hand-planted up on the top of the big tower. So it's pretty hard not to see it. So anyways, uh, if, you's, um, if you join on and uh, you want to come see the the shops too which are not really functional yet but they will be soon they were fine but there was something happened the other night it crashed and something screwed up somewhere on the server thing so they're gonna to have to fix it up or whatever but uh yeah you can come see the store and stuff and uh i'll uh, show you around and stuff it's pretty cool so but anyways uh once again tubes have a good night and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time